One of the initiatives that we did here is something called Meatless Mondays. When we were talking about this, people thought it was laughable. It's impossible. Uh, too many people have dug in uh, to, you know, having meat and meat being not only the center of their plate, but meat was the center of their lives. And to go against something as important in the lives of so many New Yorkers, people thought it was impossible. And we were just clear it was the right message, it was the right thing to do, and we stuck with it and we put out the call to have Meatless Mondays in all of our schools. It started with 15 schools. I thought it was something that can be done on a citywide level. We were able to, within those 15 schools, um, find out what worked, what didn't work. We were able to then create the citywide menu that we see today. For me, it was really exciting to see the student. How are they going to respond to this? Are they going to feel like something's missing from their lunch? In fact, they didn't. We skim, we skim. That looks so yummy. I know. I get, I get to eat first. Can I have the veggie taco? No. Hi. Veggie yeah. taco, please. Veggie taco. Thank you. There's so many apples. <laughs> I like the food very much. It's really good, yeah. It's like, the food is really good. I like how they how they make like tacos with all varieties of stuff, like mushrooms and corn. And you can just eat plain corn all by itself. I love it, and I think the food tastes really good. And it's also really good for the environment. So I'm forcing my mom to really do it, to keep going with me this Monday in my family. I'm trying to persuade my parents to be vegetarian as well. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, people. Well, in this case, I'm eating two apples, maybe three, maybe four. Most people my age might not be alarmed enough about climate change and it's really children who are taking the lead in this movement and I applaud them and I would like to show a little bit more urgency around the fact that the kids who are in the lunchroom right now aren't gonna be inheriting the same earth that I grew up in. Yes, I am worried about climate change. We're always talking about it and how we can help the world. Yeah, I do worry about climate change. Of course I do. Yes, I'm worried about climate change. Well, I want to live. I want my friends to live. I want my family to live. I want people I don't even know to live. We should change. We should change to what the world needs. If there was like a type of job that I can do about climate change that will help the environment, I will do it in any way. We have made a small society of six people and it's called RACC. It's called Rage Against Climate Change. 